In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create these juice posters infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created three different juice posters and I have put the icons here where you can identify this is the grape, this is the apple and this is some kind of a, a lime or some other thing. And then here I have put the straws and the colors you can see of the different colors and when I click and you can see here it's somewhat it is having some movement you know this kind of the juice is having some liquid movement here and then you can add some title and then you can add some uh, detailed text at the bottom and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this qr code and if you like to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any light gray background. Go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle depending on your requirement. So if you like to add two or three, so depending on that you can increase the size. So I'm just going to keep this particular uh, size, then shape outline, make it no outline. And then you can give any color of your choice. If you want, you can give some gradient fill also for that. Right mouse click, go to format shape and I'm going to fill, select the gradient fill. By default there are four stops here so i'm going to delete two stops so one stop i'm going to select and i'm going to give some dark color you can see here and then i can give uh, some other color all right so i can give more darker also so it looks something like this right and if you like to change the direction the darker should come on the top you can just change the direction from here okay so once this is done i'm going to add one more rectangle so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle this much size all right keeping something at the top empty so shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to make it as a white all right now again if you like to add two or three more you can just select all these things hold the control shift key you can just add like this you can see something like that all right now let's concentrate on the very first one now i would like to add a kind of a the glass effect and glass means you know the tumbler whatever you call it so for that go to insert shapes i'm going to choose uh, this particular size uh, the shape which is the trapezoid draw the trapezoid something like this and i'm going to rotate it rotate i can just you can see here i'm going to make it flip vertical all right and make sure that this is particularly in the center and should be something somewhat above from this white rectangle okay so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this shape hold the shift key select this blue shape merge shape i'm going to make it subtract so i end up getting a shape something like this now here i'm going to add a kind of a juice effect here for that go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose this a free form shape and i'm going to just draw a free form shape like this you can see here and double click and shape outline make it no outline and right mouse click edit points i can just edit it like this you can see here so it looks like kind of a liquid is there in the glass okay then i'm going to give again a gradient fill here but this time i'm going to give a maybe a combination of a green and some light green color can you see here then just send this to back all right so you can see here this is kind of a liquid effect here and then i'm going to add one straw here go to insert shapes i'm going to select again the same which is the freeform shape i'm going to click once here one here and then one here double click shape outline make it white and you can increase the width so i can just go to the width and increase this one so the straw also have been added here now if you like to add some icons here so you can go to insert icons and you can just choose any uh, icon so let me just scroll down and we'll see what is the say assume that this is a kind of uh, apple juice so i'm going to just choose the apple if it is not available you can just search on the net and you can download it also so let me just uh, scroll down i think somewhere i missed so let me just go and check once again somewhere it should be so where it is where it is 
I think should be here. No. Ah, it's here. Okay. So I'm just going to select this one. Click insert. And then I'm just going to put exactly in the center. If you want, you can just reduce the size 2.7 maybe. And graphic fill white and put it exactly in the center. Okay. Just icon. And then you can go to insert text box. And I'm going to type title here. Center aligned make it the font futura or any other font of your choice increase the size and you can give the same color as of the background all right and below you can add some detailed text you can add some detailed text so i can just say equals l-o-r-e-m within brackets one it will give me some text and i don't want this long text so i'm going to delete it somewhat and center align reduce the font size and put it here all right and then if you want to do some basic animation you can just add some animation effect to it and if you would like to add some uh, shadow effect so you can go to insert shapes first of all i'm going to add one oval shape here at the bottom like this shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to make it a black increase the transparency effect go to the effects uh, soft edges and increase the size and then just put it exactly in the center and then send this to back all right so you can see here the shadow effect has been created and if you like to add one more shadow effect here go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle shape outline no outline shape fill again black increase the transparency effect go to the soft edges and increase it all right and then i'm just going to rotate a little bit you can see here like this and i'm going to send this to back yeah so something like this you can see here all right so that shadow effect also we have created maybe it is visible i'm going to reduce the size i think yeah this is okay so similarly if you would like to add some other glass shape for that you can go to insert shapes now i'm going to select this particular rectangle rounded corner draw the rounded corner rectangle okay and put it exactly in the center now i'm going to select this one and this one merge shape and subtract so i got this shape and if you like to add some other shape you can add as per your own requirement and then you can just give the same uh, different colors and all other stuff you can add it here all right so let's do one thing let's do this animation so let me just close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane add animation i'm going to go to more motion paths and i'm going to just choose a left where it is left it is here so you can see here it is going very far click ok i don't want that one so you can see the small red point just drag it a little bit only i need okay zoom in so that you know exactly what you're trying to do add a little bit only here all right only this much can you see here all right so now double click this one remove this smooth star smooth end timings you can make it maybe fast and until end of the slide and click ok so if i play now so you can see here it is moving and then it is not coming properly so here i have to make it auto reverse and click ok so you can see here it works like this all right so the same animation effect you can just add it here for example i can just simply select this one press ctrl d bring it here give some different color combination and this one i'll just say with previous and here i'm going to give some different color uh, maybe kind of a uh, orange with yellow sorry let me just give yellow and then just send this to back okay yes and if you want you can just reduce a little bit and then again if you like to add some icons you can go to insert shapes here i'm going to choose this particular I would like to add a slice of uh, kind of a you know a lime or lemon 
shape outline no outline shape fill i can give this color and i'll put it here one okay the same thing you can just apply it for the rest of the options